It's time to take ourselves into the shoes of some of the most rich, wealthy, or dedicated Genshin fans in the world, C6 Havers. Have you ever wondered what every single C6 in Genshin Impact looks like? I have as well. So I went and compiled a bunch of clips for every single five star in all of Genshin, C6, just to see how sick they are, how crazy they are, the things that some of these characters are capable of. We're just here to have some fun. Before we get into the video, big disclaimer to every single one of you guys watching. Look, I'm gonna keep this short. Every single C6 in Genshin Impact is a waste. You do not need a C6 five star to beat any content in Genshin. You can beat this game completely free to play with four stars only, all right? You don't need them. Do not feel like you need these characters. It's just for fun, for people with infinite money glitch, and for dedicated people that save up all the Primo Gems. You don't need C6s. So hey, thanks for watching, let's go. So I thought it'd be fun if we start with the standard banner characters. And first up, we've got Mona, which her C6 is. When she enters her dash, she gets a 60% increase to her charge attack per second of movement, and it goes up to 180. Wow. Pretty much, you dash, you get big charge attack damage. Let's see how crazy it is. Kazuha, Bennett, classic. Okay. Shangling there to support the vapes. All right, Mona, show me something crazy here. 118K burst, 143, 123. Okay. You know, that... Didn't last as long as I uh, had hoped. Come on, Mona. One more time for us. Dude. Nice. Nice damage. All right, Mona. Set him straight, Mona. Boom. 80K. Big burst. 59. She's gone. <laughs> the reason I do like this clip, though, this is C6 Mona in a practical environment, like showing how she would actually be if you were trying to clear hard content instead of just the, you know, damage per screenshot, whatever. Vape the dash. I don't even, can you do that? <laughs> I don't think you can. Ends it with a 72K charge attack. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, C6 Mona's um, pretty, pretty crazy, right guys? Pretty wild. <laughs> Next up, we've got C6 Deluke, which a lot of people think this is like not even a good constellation. It reads, when he uses his skill, the next two normal attacks within six seconds have their damage attack speed increased. Additionally, it doesn't interrupt the normal attack combo, which means normally you would N1 skill N1 skill N1. Now it like N1 and two and threes, which like his later attack strings aren't even that good. All right. How many of these are gonna have this exact song today? No, this is the, I, I mixed it up. All right, I like this guy's taste in music though. Set up, Bennett, Kazuha, Farina, of course. 174K, bitch, 400. Wait, this guy's going crazy. Oh, he's on Beacon? Okay. Dude, Mona, Mona ain't looking too good right now. <laughs> Mona fans in shambles right now. Surely it's not Farina Kazuma and Bennett being broken. Bonk. C6. Yeah, he's got C6 Bennett for the infusion, for the increased damage. He's weaving in the autos. This guy's actually popping off. Did I just see 103 crit? Not bad. Not bad at all. 242 EM. This build's crazy. On Beacon, free to play. Surely this is free to play. Do you think when I type in C6 showcase of X character, it's somebody with like free to play everything? They just saved up a lot of time? Nah. <laughs> the whale's got a flex. That guy had triple crown to loop, okay? You say what you will. Whales don't triple crown every character. You can't buy crowns, all right? So this guy's actually a Deluke fan. Shout out to them. Next up is Jean. It makes everybody within her burst take less damage. It is a supportive constellation. And then her, you know, her C2 and four kind of boost up the team too. So she's a more supportive character, but we still got a sick clip. Here we go. Miss Splitter Jean, 69K, nice. Oh no, with fires on. Okay, 105K. You'll love to see it. Bennett, fires on. 120, 162. We can do higher. We could go higher. Mona, of course. Amplify that. 200. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. 
Okay, this is saying with resistance minus 40%. Here we go. Boom! 330 AK. You go, Gene! That's my Grandmaster! Uh-huh. Gotta kill Skarmouche. It wouldn't be a C6 showcase without uh, without somebody clapping Skarmouche real quick. 500? 500? 453. Not bad. So yeah, Jean's a more supportive C6, but I wanted to show her just doing a bunch of damage. All right, she's cool. Next up is Chi Chi. Constellation 6 revives dead nearby characters. What could go wrong? Oh my God, this guy's on mobile. I like the cannon. Zhongli against Aja. Great. <laughs> GG's standing there. Bye, have a great time. All right, thank you for the, the skill. If you add up the crit rate of all these builds, you might get 100%. Um, maybe. Get it, guys. <laughs> the positivity. And they're back. I think they're going to get it. Get it, guys. Wait. Hey, yo, she, dude, they're so innocent. They don't even know they're getting trolled. <laughs> yep, yep, that one's broken. All right, guys, so... Next up, we've got Kaching. And Kaching's Constellation 6, when initiating a normal charge, skill, or burst, she gets 6% electro damage bonus. Whoa! And if you do all of them, you get 6, 12, 18, 24. Yeah, she gets 24% electro damage from her C6. Here we go. It's been a while since I got these. R4, bro, not even R5. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, okay. Nice, 50, okay, he's dead. <laughs> All right, we can do better than that. Yeah, here we go, full team. Wait, is he styling? Ain't no way. All right, that was too clean. <laughs> that was that was cool enough right there, that was clean. Boom, big burst. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh! All right, that was spicy. How much did that hit for? 125k. From a character like Kaching, I mean, that's that's the biggest single number I've seen a Kaching hit. So next up is Titanari C6. It decreases his charge attack time by a ton, gives him an attack bonus. So pretty much, he's going to be pew-pewing all over the place. Get a Titanari. Official. Yeah. Oh my god, the Wolf Lord. Dude, shoot him out of the air, bro. <laughs> shoot this dude out of the air. <laughs> boom. Boom. <laughs> I'm not joking when I say Tainari is the best standard mana character and it ain't even close. Holy guacamole. Man, that was fire. <laughs> Dude, Tainari is so sick. He's already dead. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. He's so clean. Wait, I want a C6 Tainari, bro. Hey, you too can get a C6 Tainari completely free to play, guys. All you have to do is get incredibly lucky. If you guys thought that one was good, it's time to check out another standard C6 five-star. The one to come after Tainari. Equally as broken, Dia. Watch this, chat. I'm going to let this clip speak for itself. Uh-huh. Here we go. Boom. Honestly, bro, hitting for 96K? Shit, that kind of reminds me of my idea. Hold on, that kind of reminds me of my idea. What's good? Huh? <laughs> no bless, Crimson. Just pure screenshot, pure screenshot build. And I respect that. Pyro crit, beacon of the reach CR5. See guys, do you remember when I said about free to play? You guys could have got that too. You, you, you guys could have got that one too, uh, if you're free to play. So DSC six, her burst gets a bonus crit rate, and then the more punches she does, the more crit damage she does. So it generally does make her burst do a lot, but um, yeah, good luck NC six. The standard mana characters, straight up, they were a little bit of snoozers. All right, Tainari was cool, even Dia was cool, but constellations weren't built the same back then. So let's see if Venti, can stand up to modern day Constellation 6s. Anyone in his burst has Animo Res decreased by a ton, and if an element gets absorbed, their resistance gets decreased as well. All right, we got Klee. 
Bruh, <laughs> they're dead already. I know this ain't the hardest domain around. Oh, here's with Farzan. Ooh. No way, the plunge. Yeah, I was about to say. Okay, now we're in the abyss. Now we're with the big boys. Wobber flowers, extinct. Does he hit the charge attack? I don't know if he did. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna believe he did. These guys are annoying as hell. This is like a real solo, pretty much venti team. Yeah. Wait, you can group them? I did not know you could group the, the Doritos as well. Okay. All right, venti, calm down. Oh, oh, oh. 153k skill. You know what? That was actually pretty fun. So he can do he can do some pretty respectable damage, honestly. All right, it's already time for the original insane highlight clip C6 character of Genshin Impact, Tartaglia. Child, you know him, you love him, all right? His C6 is kind of confusing. It resets some stances. People don't even think it's good. It's pretty much a combination of all his constellations put together. Make this guy just absolutely tear some stuff up. So... I'll let this clip speak for itself. Applies Hydro for the double swirl setup. Actually clean. Good player. Bonk. They're all dead. <laughs> Next wave. Group them up. Here we go. Oh my God, dude. All right, last floor. Oh my God, these clowns. Yep. Set the double swirl again. Chongling. Uh-huh. Just tap him. <laughs> Easy. All right, next. Next. Dude, this guy's this guy's uh, swirl setups are so clean. I'm admiring the damage is hype, but you know, the player the player is gaming. This guy's gaming. Boop. Bop. Sliced up. Bro, both waves, 30 seconds flat. Surely this was the guy's first try, right? Surely this wasn't the 180th take. Oh my God, <laughs> just, oh my God. The man can do it all. The man can do it all. He can even take down the Aeon Blight Drake by himself. What can he do? What can't this guy do? Oh my God, was that 600? I gotta rewind. Boom, 683, dude. The game is boring once you're that good though. Excalibur, is that why? It yeah, I, I actually don't let myself get that good. If you guys have ever, like, thought I, I might be bad at the game, it's actually on purpose. Uh, it's just because, like, uh, I don't want to get that good at the game. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. I'm the same way. Are you guys ready for another absolute game-changing C6 five-star? I don't think you guys are ready for this power. C6 Zhongli, the Geo Archon. When the Jade Shield takes damage, 40% of that damage is converted into HP for the current character. And it can't exceed 8% of their max HP because that would be broken. Here we go. All right, it's against Corrosion. So we can see this Constellation 6 in action. Corroded. Here's the burst. Look at the heals. Oh my God. Oh my god, pay attention to the health bar down below. Okay, this is honestly beautiful, all the Geo numbers. I'm too busy looking at this insane healing. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. 18k. 17, 18, 19. Oh my god. Pretty satisfying. This video is called Satisfying Geo Resonance, so I'm sure they'd be happy to hear that. All right. Side tangent, I will never forget this. I was at a friend of mine's birthday party. He invited a coworker and it turns out she plays Genshin. And so, you know, me being, me being me, I'm like, oh, okay, someone I can talk to, cool. So I asked them, um, yo, so who's your favorite character? And she's like, Zhongli. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can, I can see that, I can believe that. And then uh, my friend who doesn't even play Genshin, he's like, oh, 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 Eeks likes Kokomi, he has a C6 Kokomi, and she's like, oh my god, I have C6 Zhongli! And I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool, we're losers who spend a bunch of money on our favorite characters. And then we get into a heated argument about whose C6 is worse. She's like, yeah, Zhongli, the worst C6 in the game! And I'm like, hold up. 
hold up. You need to check yourself. Because I, as a C6 Kokomi holder, I actually have the worst C6 um, in the entire game. So here's like, you could be second. Here's the thing, the C6 itself, um, I probably do think Jungle is worse, but like all the constellations put together, uh, yeah, cook me. So Albedo C6, everybody protected by the field of his skill and picks up a crystallize gets their damage increased, right? But the big one from Albedo is that his C2 gives his burst defense scaling. Not the nicest move, oh, yo, burst. Oh my God, this guy's putting on a whole show for us. All right, the God Squad has been assembled. Yep, Goro, Zhongli. Yeelon gives percent damage to whoever's on field. Ooh, that was pretty. 100K, 60, 40, 40, 40. That's pretty good. He's, a, he's an old unit. Bonk, 160K. We can do better than that. Can we? 186K. Equipping Cinnabar Spindle. What'd you have before? <laughs> boom. 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 Yeah, this guy makes Albedo look fucking cool. Uh-huh. Well, maybe after a few more constellations, man. <laughs> Chat, I think that it's fair to say this is the first... Waifu who just destroyed everything we thought we knew about competitive Genshin. It's gone, you. The Bro, the saturation right now. This is insane. This guy's a true YouTuber. Okay, he's setting up. Bennett. Pause. Then, huh? Particles, sure. Do, do, do. Bonk. <laughs> First phase of Magu Kenki one tapped, by the way. Jump through. Aiming at the ground. Classic. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> Three charge attacks is all it took to destroy Magu Kenki, bro. All right, what's the crab got? Uh, do, do, do. Bonk. One more. Two. What is this pause tech? Dude, I'm getting I'm getting an introduction to the to the speed run strats. I got no idea what that shit does. 2010? Nah man, they'd have a Linkin Park song over it instead of anime. It, I've become so numb, Ganyu. Alright, here we go. Wait, who's it? Ruin Drake? Alright, Ruin Drake. Dude, I, no fucking way, bro. Is, did his health bar even appear? I feel like he died before it even spawned. Oh my God, the wee nut. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Yeah, I saw it, man. I saw it, dude. <laughs> the wee nut dying in like three seconds flat. <laughs> That's beautiful. But wait, Gon Yu, you gotta shoot down. You gotta shoot those two little areas on his wings to, oh. You know, whale theory crafters now is, man. <clears throat> Gon Yu, totally out of date. Actually, completely washed character. Three seconds to, to beat the Wii Nut. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> so Gon Yu C6, it makes it so when she uses her skill, it makes it so the, fro the next frost shot takes no time to charge. And then her C1, I think, gives her another charge. So it's like, uh, another charge of her skill, so it's like skill, shot, skill, shot, skill, shot, done. Next up is Shao, the original edgy pretty boy of Genshin Impact. So it pretty much makes it so when he bursts and hits a plunge attack, he gets a charge of his skill and then he can use it with no cooldown. So it's just more plunging, more skill spamming. That is pretty much what C6 Shao is in a nutshell. Let's see it. This is so quiet, but whatever. Arena, Farzan, classic, Sean Yun, plunge buff. Oh, this isn't this, uh, The Last Abyss. Oh my God, the dashes, boom, boom. One plunge. All right, bro, this guy is going crazy, but he's not, um, <laughs> he's not helping the case of Xiao playing, giving people freaking uh, motion sickness, all right? <laughs> this guy's camera movements are um, 
erratic, to say the least. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh my god, four dashes? <laughs> what the hell? This floor is so annoying, and it's dead in like three seconds. Lamau. So Xiao is dashing all over the place, goddamn. I mean, that's a cool C6 for sure. So believe it or not, C6 with Tao is actually not that crazily different, pretty much. All of the rest of her constellations make it a little bit better um, with damage and whatnot. But her C6, what it does is it gives her a 100% crit rate for a short time. So pretty much, it just means that these people are going to be stacking as much crit damage as humanly possible to get the craziest Hu Tao nuke burst you can possibly see. Okay, we got another saturation guy. Amber with Elegy, Allege. 70k? Okay, so they're just showing just raw burst. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let me turn this down. Bennett buff. Here we go. 140. Let's add Mona into the mix. Boom. 491. Cosmo C2, if have. Yeah, bro, I don't. But I will gladly watch your highlight clip. Bonk. 612. Okay. Critical build. High crit. What were you running before? No offense. 764. Not too shabby. Food buff. All right, Hutao coming in, not on an empty stomach this time. Hits 939k. <laughs> Show me a million. I want to see a million. Enemy red shred. Oh, Skara, man. This guy's been through a lot. This guy's been through a lot. And now he's in another highlight reel. Poor guy. Here we go. 1.5 mil. Level 70. Oh, wow. Kicking him when he's at his lowest. <laughs> when he has less resistances. All right, here we go. Let me see it. Two mil. <laughs> oh, my. The fan cam, dude. <laughs> 343 crit damage. 559 elemental mastery. Holy. This is food. This is with food buffs. Uh, so don't get too fooled. That's C6 Utah. Just the craziest goddamn burst you could imagine. No, that was high. It's like a constellation that will never come in. Wasn't that C1? Bro, what do you mean? Oh, he showed it at the end? I feel I may have made a oversight on my research <laughs> new who tao solo new record let's see this chat surely this is the new record that was c1 all right that guy's sick as hell that guy was truly fishing that is someone who has spent many many hours on the water Oh my god. The food buff mid mid fight. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, that's stop. Go back. Three million? Alright, so so you can see there might be a slight difference in the damage you can hit uh through the constellation. Oh my god, three million. <laughs> That's pretty good. Minor damage. Wait, you guys are right. I did miss Klee. Ain't no one, ain't nobody have a C6 Klee. Nobody has Klee videos. This is crazy. C6 Dory, C0 Klee. <laughs> Bro. Here we go. Klee all by her lonesome. The strongest fighter in Mondstadt. I feel like this isn't going to truly really show Klee's potential. Well, let's see. 7K. Uh-huh. The jump, the jump cancel. <laughs> Surely that was canceling something. Oh, wait. This guy's charge attacks are actually clean. Hold on. Gotta wait for the stamina. Bonk. Bonk. Dude, you can't even use clean constellations to the fullest. Like, the switching out and everything. Dude, is it? Is this an impossible task? 
to find a sick, nasty Klee C6 video. So Klee unfortunately has relatively supportive constellations as well. Her C6, when her bursts up, she generates energy for everybody and everybody in the party gets pyro damage. Her C4, when she switches, she does a big explosion and her C2 drops the opponent's defense, which helps her, but also helps other people. So it's time for Eula right here, right now. Dude, Eula is one of the most insane, fun C6s to watch, no matter how many times I've seen it, baby. Okay, so Eula's C6 is, she starts with five stacks of her burst already, and then her normal skill and burst have a 50% chance to grant the light sword an additional stack of energy. Pretty much Eula in a nutshell, she wants to attack to get stacks for her burst, and all her constellations give her an absurd amount of stacks that would be absolutely impossible to achieve without the constellation six. So without further ado, Eula C6 speedrun. Oh my God, I thought this was Hyper Boom for a second. No shot. No shot. 1.6. I have never seen Capellius die this fast. Dude, even autoing for like 77, 60K. Physical auto attacks. She's nuts. I got another, I got another Eula vid though. I wanted to show that one because I love watching Coppelius die. But this is, this is the true content. Look at those thighs. Ah, oh, shit. Hold up. We got another fan cam here. 67, that's way too much crit. That is generous. Uh-huh. Triple crowns. Okay, some floor seven content. <laughs> One point. Okay, so just as much as we just saw last time already. Two million? More. Four. <laughs> Four. Okay, this is... Because the abyss doesn't match your world level on the lower floors, they have, like, way less resistance and stuff. So, like, this is still cool, but there, there'll be real clips at the end. There'll be real clips. 6.3 mil. 22. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 200k pyro. Not bad, Yula. Not bad. <laughs> Here we go. Floor 12. Two. 2.3? Bonk. <laughs> Six million. Eight? Holy shit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to call cap on that one. Zinyan. Zinyan did all that work. Bonk. <laughs> all right, goodbye, Raiden. 464 million. Oh. So C6 Kazuha gets an Animo infusion on his normals, but his C2 is the one that's really broken. And that pretty much is the highlight of most of these clips. But let's check them out. Here we go. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Diona. Why is Diona on it? Is she setting up a melt? Bennett. Uh huh. Oh, it's a melt. Waits for the cryo. <laughs> 393,000 plunge attack from Kazuha. All right, that was fire. Another iteration of Kazuha. What is this white scale on this? Holy guacamole. All right, here we go. Ooh. Farina, of course. Farina, Faruzan, Shanyun. Yeah, we about to see Plunge Kazuha. Boom. How much did that hit for? 76, 90K plunges. Set up the burst. 100K. Okay, bro. There's so many green numbers, I can't pay attention, but everything is dying in a very fast, um, <laughs> in a very fast way. I can promise you that, if you're missing it. Holy shit, I feel like I'm watching this underwater. But I mean, goddamn, this is sick. He's on Miss Splitter too. 
Yeah, guys. Uh, I told you guys Freedom Swan ain't to play. We are at Ayaka. Ooh, big Ayaka boys. Constellation 6 Ayaka. She gets an insane charge attack hit. She shreds defense. And you will see she gets two bonus mini bursts on each side of her. Let's check it out. All right, Farina. Oh my God, we got the music video. Rip, rip YouTube. You're not gonna be able to hear the sounds of this. <laughs> and instantly uh, melted. Nothing we haven't seen before tonight. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, Simon, here we go, Abyss. He didn't even use the C6. Did he really not charge attack? That's just, that's just poor manners. That's just poor manners. Here we go. He comes in. Normaled once. Skill doesn't even. Bruh. That's just disrespectful to everybody. Well, yeah, you're already dead before I can even do anything. Okay, wait, here's the build. Here's the build uh, in person. Oh, it's attack goblet because the miss players are five. <sighs> They're probably free to play. All right, chat, it's time for Yoimiya, one of my favorite characters in the entire freaking game, baby. C6 Yoimiya, as much as I love her, is a little bit underwhelming, okay? She gets pyro damage bonus, she gets more uptime on her skill, and then she gets, like, mini arrows that come off of her burst. She packs a lot of damage, I'll show you, but I mean, after Ayaka, it's kind of hard to stand up to that. C6 Yunjin, it's time. No proper buff, 20% burst. That's all right. I won't judge you. All right, I love the Yomiya theme. Setting up. Oh, he knows the cancel tech too? This is a good Yomiya player. Already got him. Already got PMA weekend in what? Eight seconds, 10 seconds, maybe. Burst, burst, burst. That guy's about to die. Three, two. Yep. And bonk. Simple as that, baby. May not be as flashy as some of the other ones we've seen, but big pew pew damage from Yoimiya. We love Yoimiya. One of the originals. Dude, calling Raiden an original is crazy to me, but one of Genshin's most insane Still to this day, in my opinion, C6 is Raiden Shogun. Look, her C6 alone isn't that good. It's the C2 and C3, the Shred Defense, and the damage she does is absolutely startling. Let it play, Raiden. Let it play, baby girl. Farina set up. Raiden comes in. We double swirl. Kujo Sara. 697,000. <laughs> Bro, you got to get your little tops out a little faster than that, man. You're slouching, Simon. I don't think Genshin needs harder content. I'm going to just keep it a buck, man. I think I think players of all levels are completely satisfied and challenged. No way. Was that less than 10 seconds? Look at this. 9.04. Okay. Never mind. This is an entire run in like 25 seconds, maybe. Sometimes I get people in here telling me Raiden is overrated or constellations. I mean, you guys are, you guys are clowns. I'm sorry. This is crazy. Now chat. Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn, baby. All right. You know him. You love them, your boys, Kokomi. Okay, Ocean Heat Clam, Constellation Six, Triple Crown, and no one likes looking at Kokomi builds, but I can assure you this shit's fire. Okay, actually I'm on ER Sands. I was doing a solo run. Okay, you can't judge me, dude. Seeing these girls get clapped so hard, I could have worded that a little bit better. Get him, 
Joe coming! No! <laughs> She's crazy, right, guys? She's so good! Yes, queen! <laughs> she gets interruption resistance from her burst, too! I must have, I must have missed, I must have missed that. It's time for you, chat, to learn a little bit of respect for the single most broken character that Genshin Impact has ever seen. C6 Kokomi. Imagine thinking you're only getting one insane Kokomi replay. All right, Kokomi. Time for some perfect rotations again. <laughs> That's the, okay, she ran out a little bit of steam there. That's rare. That's extremely rare, guys. All right, we got one final quick washing of the abyss with our girl. It's all right. It is fine. You're right, Kazuha. I'm glad you have such a positive outlook on this situation. Uh-huh. Insane! Against an enemy with such high resistances, this damage is unparalleled! <laughs> Yo, just kill him through the shield. That would be base. Kokomi! Close it out, girl. Close it out, girl. The only way you know how to. Easily. <laughs> yeah, that's C6 Kokomi. Being real, Kokomi's constellations, a lot of them increase her healing abilities a lot, which is great. But then she has some damage increasing ones and her C6 gives her 40% hydro damage um, when she heals somebody for four seconds with her burst. 40% hydro damage for four seconds. Yeah, they really they really went crazy with that one. The so last gotcha game players should know that Ito's C6 is something very close to home, okay? His burst gets increased crit damage, his charge attacks, and then... There is a 50% chance with every charge attack to not use up a stack, meaning he can potentially charge attack for the entirety of his whole burst. Let's see it. Someone say C6, Ito. Get him, Ito. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God. He's getting them all. 100%. No, he's not even gonna beat him. Bro, the worst part about it is like, he got it the full duration of the burst. The burst ended before his luck did. That's tough, bro. That's tough. When they <laughs> when they tell you to come to the back room and uh, you're never seen again at, uh, at that casino. That's tough, man. That's tough. Next is another very, very interesting seasick. And that is Shen Ha. When Shen ha puts up the icy quills from her burst, if the allies or herself are normal or charge attacking, it doesn't take any quills. So Shen ha, her constellations make her personal damage a little bit higher, but pretty much she is another support constellation six, where she is going to make every ally be able to pretty much endlessly cryo auto attack for enhanced damage with the help of someone like Chong Yun. So I think this is a pretty interesting, oh my God, look at this guy, same disclaimer as me. Yep, the legend, no C6 character in Genshin Impact is worth your pulls. Oh my God, they've got Aloy. Homie's got like every character in the game. We gotta watch the Aloy one though. Bro, Aloy versus the Wii Not with Yoon Jin. Oh my God, 48K autos from Aloy. Aloy, slow down. Slow down, Aloy. The meta can't handle you right now. <laughs> Look, some of you may think that was that was nothing. 
Aloy doing half the Wii Nut Telethon and down from Shen Ha is kind of insane. Is this Shen Ha herself? Oh, this is Kaching. Cryo Kaching ain't no way, bro. Eee. This damn it, this is more than Aloy. <laughs> I was about to laugh at this Kaching, and yeah, that was more than Aloy. Holy. Okay, Le Layla. All right, I know you guys. I know you guys like your Layla content. Here we go. Let's see what Layla's capable of here. Do, 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 do. Changyan? Yep. Shen Ha? Of course. Boom. Get him, Layla. Oh my god. The Miss Splitter Cryo Damage Layla. Her charges, her animations are very funny. It looks like she has never held a sword before in her entire life, but she somehow gets it done. All right, let's see Shen Ha herself. So this is Shen Ha being the damage dealer through her own, taking advantage of her own Constellation 6. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, she's doing, this is actually doing a lot more because all the ticks of her burst, her skill, everything on field, she's able to do them all. Oh, she almost got him there. Got him, Shenna. Dude, her, her attack animations are like spicy. They're smooth. She's like moving through the air and stuff. You don't see these attack animations very often, so I'm just trying to, uh, you know, save her. So Yai Miko C6, it pretty much makes her turret do a way more damage. They avoid 60% of the opponent's defense. So she's even more turret focused, but her burst damage through the other constellations does get a little bit of a buff too. So let's watch the highlight reel. Yo, is this guy a rookie, man? This saturation is not up enough. Rookie YouTuber, I guess, but that's all right. 27K single hits. This is no aggravate, no Viridus Inventor. No, nothing. So, like, it may not look like a lot. This is a lot of freaking damage solo. Not even normal attacking. Big iframe. Boom. Oh, my God, the transition. We're watching a freaking music video right now. That was wicked. Oh, my God, he's dying too fast. The turrets are doing so much damage just by themselves, dude. They almost do more than the burst. They were ticking for like 100k. Chat next up is Ayato. So Ayato actually similarly to Ayaka, he gets two extra mini slices off of his burst and it looks really sick. And I mean, he obviously just freaking melting. Whoa, spoilers. All right, Ayato. Show us how it's done, Papa. Okay, man, Devalon's not exactly the... <laughs> Holy guacamole. That's a that's a quick health bar gone. Okay, Primo Vishap gets clapped that fast? Wait, I thought it was crazy. Boom. Oh, my lord, Senora. <laughs> Senora washed in like four seconds flat. PMA. Okay, that's a ruin. That's a ruin guard. <laughs> These guys are getting obliterated. Wait, I thought it looks cool. Yeah, I don't know about that M part, but <laughs> we got another banger up next, chat. I keep I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but I feel like that this is just what C6s do. They're just all kind of cool. One of the most iconic C6 characters in Genshin is happening right now. Yelon C6, one burst, five arrows and nothing but absolute destruction. Let it play. Because why the hell not? Doof, 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 doof. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd they go, guys? Okay, that was that was weird. That was fast. Okay, huh. Oh my god, Rune Jake. Rune Serpent. Oh, this is solo. Yeah, that man got soloed. Uh-huh. Uh huh. All right, let's go, Yon. More Abyss. Okay, Simon. Single target. She does shine more in AoE. So let's see how fast she can uh, destroy a single target. Oh, oh, get him. Ah! Um, that was pretty good. I was. That was pretty good. 
Okay, next up is Sino, who I believe he gets some like extra little attacks that come off of his burst that apply electro and do a lot of damage. Sino's gonna look relatively similar to what he normally looks like, but he's just gonna be popping off even harder. So let's let it play out. All right, we can't all have super gamer computers. Okay, we're gonna respect this guy's play nonetheless. I can't, I can't read any of those numbers, but these guys are getting absolutely wrecked. Bro, I wonder if they're so close together. That was insane. I wonder if they're so close together that the hyper blooms are actually bouncing or like sharing AOE. Cause that's not something that usually happens. We've got one more Sino clip. Here we go. Sino versus the local legend by Zoo. Yay, lawn for the on for the just on field damage buff. All right, let's go. Okay, he is shredding pretty well. It's not the best. Nice timing, bro. Nice timing. Nice timing. Here we go. <laughs> And if you want a character like that too, man, C6 Sino just might be your character. Oh my lord. What a <laughs> so Nilu, she lowers Hydro Rise with her C2, but her C6, based on how much HP she gets, gets a bunch of crit rate and crit damage buffs. So it turns her into a somewhat viable DPS. I use the word somewhat on purpose. All right, Nilu comes in. 120, 100. Was that 150? Oh my God, the burst. <laughs> All right, the burst did melt them. That was pretty fire. Ella, mental burst damage. I like where, I like what I'm seeing. Now, set it up. Big vape, big vape coming in here. Boom. I think that was 100K. 120 something K. Burst is gonna be huge. I can't see all the numbers, but everyone's dead pretty much. Except that guy. Bro, clear an abyss in like 20 seconds. I think Nilu C6 is cool. Right? Surely as good as Yaylon. <laughs> C6 Nilu is pretty cool. You can just use her on Bloom teams and she's just even better. The C6 doesn't help the Bloom teams, but the C2 and I think the C4 do as well. Don't quote me on that. Okay, this is one I've been excited uh, to show you guys. Another Archon C6 Nikita. Let me explain it like this. Anybody she marks when she normal attacks them, they get hit by a bonus hit that's like 400% of her elemental mastery and her attack. Sorry, I'm just reading it right here. 200% of her attack, 400% of her elemental mastery, and it can happen every 0.2 seconds. So she just gets pressing on that little keyboard of death and shit gets a little crazy here we go okay this one literally has no volume marks all three jungle shield up official mona of course okay this guy knows how to group them these guys are very weird to group so here we go mona and then nahita is just going to obliterate them there's so much green. I've never seen green numbers that high. Bro, they're just melting. Man, I wish I could on field DPS the Hina. She's a sweetheart. She's already broken as hell. What am I saying? 69K. Dude. Okay, just keep in mind that this is with all of the other insane support effects that Nahita already does. Everyone talks about her C2 being broken. Her C1 is all right. Like this is on top of all of that. It's still all happening. And then her normal attacks are just doing insane damage. So it's like, yeah, she's pretty crazy. C6 Nahida is really freaking cool and does uh, a lot of freaking, I, I love C6 Nahida. Oh, I forgot to mention, she has this, she has this very cute little indicator around her when her C6 is active, um, which I like. Yeah, she gets this little like floating uh, flower around her. That's just like, I'm going to um, destroy you all now. I do not by any means think Wanderer is a bad character, but it is a little bit known that his constellations aren't actually that strong. He's pretty good out of the box, but like his constellation six isn't absolutely insane. 
pretty much shortening it. He gets like an additional little hit that does 40% of his original damage. And then when he falls below his points of his aerial, you know, ring, he like gets four points and then it can happen five times. Okay, this is just raw animo uh, damage. Let's see how fast he gets him. I mean, goddamn, I mean, that's fast. Okay, then the burst was insane. That was 100k, like, brrr. All right, the normal attacks, I, I gotta be honest, I was like, okay, that was pretty good. But then the burst, the burst actually went crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, there must be, he's gonna do something different, I guess. Yeah, charge attacks this time. 69k charge attacks. I see what you're doing there, bro. I see what you're doing there, bro. And then just, and then just erased. And then just erase. Hey, not bad, not bad. Yeah, Season Water is cool, for sure. All right, next up is all Hytham. I freaking love all Hytham. I just think he's one of the... I think he's one of the most intricate and fun to play characters in the entire game. So uh, I'm actually excited to see this. And his Constellation 6 is... After he uses Burst, he generates three mirrors, which are very important to his damage. And then if he had the max amount of mirrors before he bursted, he gets crit rate plus 10 and crit damage plus 70, which 70 crit damage is a lot. Let's let it play. Oh, we got an AMV here. Oh, Ryan doesn't stand a chance. Do, 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 do. 64K, a 64K normal attack. When, when it's a... Okay, that was sick. When it's a normal attack-based character, when they do, like, big damage like that, it's a lot more impressive because some characters... This, like, this is insane damage. Some characters just do that one burst that's crazy, but when you have normal attacks that are, like, all 50, 60, 70k, that adds up to be the same thing, man. Bro, are we just gonna destroy the entire fauna of Tevat here? All hide them. They're already dead, man. Ooh, that was... Yeah. Oh, 143k. That was sick. Dude, no way he takes him out from the air. Yo, buddy. Next up is one that you guys uh, constantly remind me of how broken it is. Laval. Next up is Baizu. He's another relatively support based Constellation 6, but it pretty much makes it so he gets more damage based off his HP on his burst. And then he generates the little shields of his burst pretty much like constantly which makes it so he applies a lot of dendro all the time so that's what this clip specifically is going to highlight oh it's a nilu bloom let's go with ayato i wonder if there's some secret synergy there all right here we go baizu comes in drops the burst so now look there's just constant dendro He's not even normal attacking. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my, wait, this is the AFK, dude. <laughs> the AFK Baizu shirt. All right, put that, set that up, set it up again. All right, AFK. Baizu, bro, you've had it rough, man. Kick back, relax. Don't, don't waste your time with those normal attacks, man. That's child's play. Okay, you're better than that. <laughs> Next up is Linny, and his DPS is pretty insane. His C2 gives him crit damage. His C4 gives him pyro res decrease, so pyro damage. And then his C6 gives, like, the prop arrow even more freaking damage. So I'm going to just let this speak for itself real quick here. Kazuma, Klee to shred the defense. Whale, by the way. Mm. <laughs> Bro, his whole health bar. He was waiting to style. Go, YouTube, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. It was almost the whole health bar in one instant. Wow, well, and then, bonk, bonk. Wow. Okay, Lenny, chill there, bro. Look at the one closer to us. This guy's at almost full HP. This is floor 12. I bet this guy has like millions of HP. And, gone. <laughs> We all knew this moment was coming in this video. It's time for Nuvolet. The character that uh, doesn't need his C6 to be unbelievably broken. Let's just see it. Uh huh. No shot in the safe, <laughs> No shot! 
charge. He, <laughs> he killed two waves with one charge attack. That's not fair. This guy's stupid as hell. Oh, are you gonna one wave this one too? Are you gonna one charge attack this wave too? How many charge attacks do you guys think this is gonna take? Maybe like two, maybe like three. You know, it's floor 12, chamber three, they're level 100. These enemies are level 100, guys. They have the maximum, oh, well, it's over. Okay, but for real though, guys, little disclaimer midway through the video. This video is purely for fun. You do not need this. This is just for us to, to live, live as whales today vicariously. Next up is Risley, and it pretty much makes it so his enhanced charge attack gets increased crit rate, increased crit damage, and then does even more cryo damage. So let's see it. Bro, what is this aspect ratio? I feel like I'm watching a, a soap opera. Okay. Bro, this is no reactions that even help. Like, Shen Ha helps, and then Yelon does some damage, but like... This isn't melt. This isn't anything. This seahorse got rolled. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Styles on him with the burst at the end. You love to see that. Was that it? C6 Risley demolishes everything. Surely it's a good video. Okay, now we're getting some melt. Ooh, okay. Risley's theme is so fire. Goodbye, Dedro Chicken. Holy guacamole. Ooh. Yo, this local legend's getting shredded. Ignore the 68k vapes from Shangling. Let's see the build, baby. He's on the thing. My Chaucy. I like the ocean hued goblet. 10, 8. Oh my god. I, I got I'm sorry. I got a little bit. I got a little bit pissed off there. Because Risley is new, he gets the normal attack talent treatment. Where he gets enhanced, he gets his talent level from his normal attack enhanced instead. Like, Framine gets this, and it just makes me think, man, Yoimiya is living in a world where her freaking burst is plus three instead of her normal. Alrighty, chat. So, Nanua got back to me today. A community member got back to me today. I knew they had C6, Farina, and I was like, yo, do you want to supply a clip? They actually sent me a link like 20 minutes ago, and I've been doing this thing for two hours. So, A, they made the cut. Uh, let's see Nanua's C6, Farina. Long story short, she gets Hydro Infusion on her autos, and they do an absolutely mind-destroying amount of damage. Here we go. Yelon, waiting for the Serpent. Uh-huh. Oh, Sean Yun buff? Oh my god, we're going plunging. Plunge vapes? Okay, this is gonna be sick. Here we go. <laughs> Almost 400k plunges. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. One more. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty fresh. Alright, that was clean. Here we go. Floral. Flee, defense shred. What? Now, one auto attack for 789,000 damage. Wait, but oh my god, the child in the team for the normal attack. That's funny. Holy guacamole. Bruh. Oh my god, look at the sigil. She's on key of Kajna suit. Bruh, that's tough. When your signature, when your signature isn't even your best weapon at C6. Yeesh. All right, Gene on Freedom Sworn. Here we go. <laughs> what the hell? 570. 570. This is insane. I didn't know she was... I didn't know she was this strong. I'm going to be honest. I knew she was good, obviously. But this is wild. Okay, dude. Okay. I like this. This is good. This is good. Um, like video direction. Subverting expectations. We thought this was gonna be a normal attack showcase. No. 
Watch Mademoiselle Krabaletta fucking one tap this guy. <laughs> All clips recorded with this build, bro. This build at 55 KHP, 7208. Uh, oh, this is on Kiyo Kajisu. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. All the clips we just watched had a level four normal attack talent. Oh no, I'm sorry. Level six. Level six, because it's child. That wouldn't make sense. What the hell? What? That's insane. I don't believe that. Most of these clips. Nah, that's cat. I'm, I'm calling bullshit. President of the Spina di Rosula herself. Navia C6. Well, her C2 gives her a bunch of crit rate. And then her C6 gives her a bunch of crit damage on her bullets. If she has enough stacks. Which, um, I think this clip's gonna have enough stacks. Do Goro makes his way on here? Chiori? That's a C6 Chiori. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, two hits? One for the robot? And one for the PMA. And boom. Hell yeah. She's destroying everything, man. Okay, I'm going to be honest. This doesn't even feel that much different from playing C-Zero Navia. C-Zero Navia feels amazing, too. All right, we go. Claymore attacks to break that. Goro set up. Chiori set up. And oh my Bro, this guy is tanky. Look, 785. Yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty good. Yeah. Chat, next up is Sean Yun. Cloud retainer herself, all right? What her C6 does is it pretty much gives her unlimited skill use, which means she can turn herself into a plunge, 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 mini Shao. Here we go. Oh my God, the Ruin Servant. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you could just smack the Ruin Serpent in the face, bro. She kicked him in the balls, slapped him across the face, and then kicked him in the balls again. <laughs> yeah, keep in mind, Wee Knight has insane animal res. Let's see how well she does. That hit? Oh my god. She's doing way more than I thought. Boom, hits him midair. 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 Yeah, dude, hitting enemies midair is actually pretty high. Nice. John Yun might be, um, might be a little bit better than I thought, if I can be completely honest. <laughs> it's time for the final character on our C6 showcase adventure. Anyone know who it is? It's her, Chiori. One of my favorite characters in the entire game. My second ever and only c6 not a whale free to play plus by the way all right so now it's time for me to show you guys my chiori and just to be completely transparent pre-farming for her would have been during the abyss challenge i was a little bit busy okay so she has at 888 currently but she is still an absolute monster dude i haven't actually shown you guys my chiori at full power yet and I'm still working on her build every single day. I told you guys I will not rest. I will not sleep until she is the most broken Chiori we've ever goddamn seen, baby. This is the nerdiest shit ever. I'm about to do an abyss clear. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Let me clean my glasses. Here we go. Time for your boys. Hyper carry Chiori, man. Let's do it. Hundred K, fifty nine, a hundred K, done for, dude. <laughs> Ooh, dude, let's go. Get down here, bro. You ain't escaping. You ain't escaping the pain, man. Oh my God, already done. All right, let's get to the energy here. All right, dude. Bonk, bonk. Seventy K autos. Okay, I styled a little bit too hard. She's so fresh, she's so clean. Look at all the puppets. Those puppets are hitting for like 60K plus too. Oh, she's so cool. All right, here we go. Not up or shut up.
Oh, can we get him? Can we get him in one? Let's freaking go. Now that was a clean rotation. And to end this video with my own C6 Chiori popping off. Feels pretty darn good. I gotta say, feels pretty darn good. After almost two hours, we reacted and saw sick ass clips of every single C6 five star limited in Genshin Impact. Once again, you don't need these guys just for fun just to have a good time, see some sick, nasty clips with the homies on YouTube and over on Twitch. Hey, as always, come check out the Twitch. I'd appreciate it a lot. Streams up all the time. Having a good one. Thank you guys for the YouTube support. Seriously, you guys mean the world to me, YouTube frogs. You really freaking do. All right, like, comments up. I'd appreciate it. Shout out to the patrons. We love the patrons over on Patreon, okay? I'm talking Zick, Lancy, a Spangle, Rats, uh, Denzel, I appreciate you guys oh so very much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't swipe. Don't swipe, okay? Unless you rich as hell. Be responsible, gamers. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Peace.